Hey there, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly. This is typically a knitting podcast, but today I wanted to share with you some sewing things that I've been up to. So I recently got the bug to start sewing a little bit more frequently and I picked up or ordered for online four patterns in paper form so I didn't have to print them out myself from Common Stitch. And I'm very excited about them. I've already made one, just one, I guess, one out of four. And I also ordered a pattern from, I just, I forgot that I did this pattern and now I'm just remembering and I can't remember what, oh, is it seam, Seamwork from Seamwork, it's the Joss Pants. And then the Bellbird Blouse from Common Stitch. So I have those two items that I wanna share with you all. <clears throat> And then I want to walk you through some of my plans that I have with the remaining uh, patterns that I have here, some other little pieces that I've been working on that were self-drafted, and then I also picked up some really cool fabric from the Salvage Center the other day that I got for a really cheap price. And then I also went into my Nana's fabric stash and was able to pick up some cotton from there. So I just kind of want to share some of these things with you and we can maybe hopefully all get inspired for some spring slash summer sewing. So I guess I'll start with some items that I've just recently finished. Let me grab them here. <clears throat> the first one being the Joss Pants from Seamwork. I did this in a linen blend, this really cool blue linen blend. It's got really cute pockets on the front and they're just a wide leg. They're supposed to be a full pants, but I did mine so that they come to about mid calf. I'll put in some B roll off to the side so you can see me wearing them. Now, these are elasticated pants. I did not do the neatest job with these, I will say. Um, but I'm happy with them. They're okay. They're supposed to just be lounge around pants, me to wear in the summertime when it's a bit warmer and, you know, I'm usually wearing like a flowy top over it anyway, so you're not going to really see much of the detail of the pants, but I think they're okay for the waistband. Um, I did do three seams over the elastic to just secure it in place so it doesn't move around. The pattern I believe only calls for one stitch in the middle but I did two extra on the top and bottom. So the front's not bad but the back isn't great because it um, is really gathered here and not so much there. So that's one thing that I've learned from making this pattern. I would definitely make this pattern again and I plan to. I have some uh, linen tablecloth that I have had in my closet for a while. It's just a really nice, neutral, creamy beige. I wanna make more of these and I will be using the same pattern, but now I kind of know that what I have to look out for when I'm doing the, the elasticated waist and I just need to be a bit more careful, I think. Another thing I want to do is that they're just a bit too long in the crotch, like it's ridiculously long. So, and I love high-waisted, but this is like, just seems a little sloppy when I wear it. So I want to shorten it a little bit on my next pair, just so I can bring the crotch in a little bit. So it's not too, too long. And maybe it can just look a little bit more polished and I'll feel bit more put together if I decide to wear those out in the summer but I really do love the um the length of the pants going to a bit mid calf for me I think it's a bit more flattering than a full length for myself so I will be doing that again and I will be doing the pockets and everything I really do love these I think they're great and I will be wearing these a lot even though some things I'm not 100% okay with um, but like I said, they're just kind of lounge pants, so it's okay. And overall, I'm really proud of them. I think they look good. What else was I going to say? I kind of forget, but 
I really wanted, I, maybe I said this already, but I really wanted some blue linen pants that could kind of look like jeans, but not really, because I hate wearing jeans most of the time. So these are nice and flowy and comfortable. And I got just that. So I got this from Rick Rack Textiles here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And that's where I'm coming to you from. <laughs> and I had the sticker for it, but it didn't say like exactly what the material was but I do think it was just like a linen blend and they have a lot of nice beautiful linens and cottons at that store and I love going there and just looking around they have a great online store as well if you're interested so very pleased with these overall of course there are some some things that I would change in my next pair and I will be doing that um I'll keep you up to date on my next pair when I do make those. I plan on doing it soon since the weather will be getting warmer and I just want to build my wardrobe a little bit with handmade items and some linen and some, you know, natural fibers. So that should be a project fairly soon. My next finished object for sewing is the Bellbird blouse by Common Stitch. So it's this blouse here. This is my first common stitch pattern. I've been admiring them for years. <clears throat> I think, I think it's been years, at least one or two. And I finally did it. I finally went and purchased a bunch of their patterns. And I was very pleased with it. It was super easy to follow. Very easy, quick pattern. I did this in, I think it was two evenings or two afternoons. I think it could definitely be done in an afternoon slash evening. I just don't have very long stamina, I guess, for sewing. I have to do it in short spurts. I also cut all of the fabric like days or weeks beforehand. <laughs> I cut the pattern in one day and then I take my time cutting out pieces of the fabric on the other day. And then I just do it that way and then it's more enjoyable for me to just do all the sewing separately from the cutting. Anyway. <laughs> This is my Bellbird blouse by Common Stitch and I'm showing you the back. <laughs> this is the back. It's got this really nice detail seam with a top stitch. Just a simple hem and here is the front. So it's kind of like a boat neck. I haven't washed this yet since finishing it and you can kind of see the pattern of <laughs> my ironing board from where I was ironing it. So just ignore that. That's not an imperfection in the fabric that's just my ironing so it's got this really beautiful like almost a boat neck it's kind of like a wide scoop it looks like it pulls out when it's on this hanger but once I'm wearing it and I'll put some b-roll up it just lays so nicely and so beautifully it's um kind of a drop shoulder and then it's got the main feature of this being the little ruffle sleeves here which just spoke to me the second I saw it I am always a sucker for some bell sleeves or some dramatic sleeves so of course I had to make this I'm very pleased with it this fabric is a linen blend again from um Rick Rack Textiles and I'm sorry I the tag info doesn't have the information of what it is <clears throat> but it's just a really soft, almost like kind of shiny fabric. And I loved the color of it. I thought it was really nice, neutral for me to have. And I think it'll be perfect for me to wear with my future Joss pants that I just showed you in the cream color. They look also, this looks really beautiful with like tucked into some high-waisted jeans. So very, very happy with this. I haven't really worn it yet. It hasn't been the right weather, I guess. Well, I could wear it inside, but I, I don't do too much. So I'm just waiting for a nicer occasion to wear it. And maybe Easter next weekend, I can wear it. So that's all my finished garments. While we're on the topic of this fabric here, I want to share with you my next project that I have on the go. I have all the pieces cut out. I just don't have 
them sewn together yet. So this is another one from Common Stitch and it's the Bellbird wrap skirt. So I just showed you the Bellbird blouse and this is the Bellbird wrap skirt here. And here's some of the information on the back. You can kind of see it's got a tie and a wrap. So I actually have the same fabric from this top. I have leftover fabric. I had enough, just enough, to cut out pieces for the skirt. So I'm going to make a matching set. And I think this will be really, really pretty tucked into this skirt here. And also I can wear it together separately on their own. And I think it'll look really beautiful and put together and just, oh, I can't wait. I think it's gonna be suitable. Like if I wear the top and the skirt together, I think it'll be really suitable for like a fancier occasion, which, do I ever have any of those? No, I don't. But if I want to feel really beautiful and put together one day and maybe I'm going out for dinner, who knows? I can wear that outfit. And then separately, I think I'll be able to dress it down a lot more and just wear it with a tank or a shirt like here. And then like the Bellbird blouse, their styling is so cute with that dress over top of it. I would love to make that dress from Common Stitch as well. There's just so many different options. I actually plan on making another one of these blouses fairly soon. I just wanna do a little bit of modifications to them. So I was thinking of shortening the sleeve and the ruffle and having a shorter sleeve and a shorter ruffle just about here and see how that goes. The material I wanna use, I'll go get it. So this is the material I wanna use. This is some old, linen curtains from my sister, I think. And I also wanted to make the Joss pants. In these, the ones that I was talking about at the beginning, I wanna make the Joss pants in these and then another Bellbird blouse in this fabric, but the shorter sleeve version. And it's just a really beautiful neutral linen fabric. My favorite type of like off-white cream. So I've got a ton of these panels. And I'm really excited to repurpose them, add some of this into my wardrobe. It's really just like, it feels like a heavyweight linen, but it's just like, I, I love it so much. I, I want almost like every piece of clothing in this type of fabric. It'd be cute to have a bellbird wrap skirt in this as well, to have another matching set, I think. What do you guys think? So very happy to have a bunch of this that I got for free. <laughs> it always feels so good to have like thrifted or repurposed fabric when you know you got like such a great deal on it. And also when you know that you're like turning it into a new life, that just makes me so happy when I'm able to like be um, thrifty and re resourceful like that. So, <clears throat> My other plans for the common stitch patterns, I also got this Lily Pilly dress and top. This was just released and it's got a few different variations. <clears throat> so as you can see, you can do the wrap dress and then you can also do a like tie style top or dress. You can do this top with the skirt added to it or you can just do the top and then I believe you could probably just do a, a wrap top as well. So I, firstly, I wanna do this in just the top and then I wanna do a dress version of that as well. Oh, I keep forgetting my fabric. Let me go get the fabric for it. So I have some fabric from Two of Nine Fabric Studio and I got this through Etsy a long time ago. Not that long ago, maybe a year ago. And it's, some washed cotton it's the color seven camel and it's from the wind zone collection so it's just another brown kind of close to this brown but a bit lighter a bit more orange and i want to make ah, <clears throat> i'll be doing the top version of that. Sorry, I just got a call and had to take it. So hopefully we're still in the same um, frame there. But anyways, um, 
I will be making the top tie version out of this fabric here. And I think, let's see how much I have. I got, so I have two yards of this. I will need um, view B, let's see. View B, here we go. 1.6 meters. Ugh, yards to meters, I'm not good with that. But I was thinking, I wonder if I could get something else out of this fabric also. I'll do the math for that later and the conversion for that later. But just a really nice neutral again to have in my, in my wardrobe. I also have, I don't know why, oh no, I do know why I got this. Anyways, I have a full yard of this Jane Floral in Blush Cotton. And I got this again from Two of Nine Fabric Studio. And I don't know what to do with this. Maybe I can make a little project bag out of it or something. Or maybe I could make a top for my niece. It's not really... It was going to be the backing of a quilt that I never made. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I can make this for a niece. Because I don't think... My niece, not Amy's. <laughs> I don't think this is very... My style. It's very cute, but I just don't want um, a top in that. <clears throat> so I also would love to make the wrap version of this too, which is pictured here. I think that's really pretty. It also gives me the vibe of like, um, like a beach cover up. I'm sorry, I'm saying like a lot today. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully that's not annoying you. It's annoying me, but just one of those days. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a beach cover up, which would be so fun to have for the summertime. My last pattern from Common Stitch, this is the Bellbird Wrap Dress. And I'm in love with this. It is so gorgeous. It also has a top style. I plan on making both the dress and the top. I hopefully will have enough, because this isn't my only panel. I've got another full panel of this. And I would love to make the top first, I think, out of this fabric. This is just so my style. I love wrap tops, wrap dresses. So I think that will be next, my next item. After my skirt that goes with this. This will possibly be the next one. If not, I will do another bellbird blouse in this after the skirt. <laughs> Either way, all of these plan on getting sewed up within the next couple of months. I've also been working on this little quilt project. It's not really a quilt. I'm, I think I'm going to be turning it into a bag, but I basically had some more of this type of fabric that used to be a, I think it was a tablecloth. It was very similar to that. And I had some leftover dye from when I was naturally dyeing some yarn. So I kept some of the dye bath from that and then I naturally dyed this fabric and I just yeah cut them into four by four squares and then cut them diagonally got these triangles and then just did a really simple quilt block I'm just finishing up doing some of the top stitching just a couple more I think I just have to do this one and this one Oh yeah, and one over here. And then this will be done. And I really love it. I don't know, like I had no plan in mind at all when I started this. I just kind of wanted to go for it and see where I got. This is where I got. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'll probably make another one of these and do a cute little bag. I do need another bag. I have a crochet bag right now that I've been wearing, that I made maybe three years ago and I've been wearing to death. I wear it everywhere. It's my go-to purse that I just keep everything in. It's starting to look pretty like worn out. So it's time for a new bag, I think. And I would just like something a bit more summery for the warmer seasons ahead because my crochet bag is a light gray color. 
So I'm thinking that this could just be a really cute bag that will I'll maybe wear like here and I can have a nice crossbody strap. I would like to put little pockets inside too and ideally I would like to have some space like a strip in between each panel but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. I don't know we'll see I might just sandwich the two pieces together and put a lining in there. We will see. I do like that this will be a bit bigger. Or no, maybe this is about the same size as my crochet bag. The only thing is my crochet bag now is circular and it's probably comparable to this size, but this is just square. So yeah, I've got a bunch more pieces cut up right there <laughs> and I just have to put them together and sew them and then hopefully this will be a cute bag. I was thinking that this could be a pillow or something but right now it's too small for a pillow I would want it bigger so that was out of the question I was initially thinking of doing this other design that was had a it was a quilt star and it was a lot more intricate and elaborate but I really like the idea of doing a monochrome quilt star all the same colors and the only like definition that you see to get the design is with the top stitch like this but in a quilt star form and I was thinking of doing that and making it into a wall hanging and having other pieces in this natural color undyed in like <clears throat> on the outside of the quilt star and I might do that in the future if I have leftover fabric uh, from all the linen that I have that's undyed. I think that would look really cute, just super simple and do maybe like three quilt stars in a row in a wall hanging and have a nice raw wooden dowel to hang them from. I think that would be beautiful. So yeah, this was just a random thing that I started two days ago. I think and did in an afternoon and yeah we'll see when I get to that next Okay, so I have the first piece done. I think this will be the front, but I'm also thinking that I can make this big reversible. And I didn't feel like doing the exact same pattern for the back, so I decided to just sew up some squares and make a grid. And I'll have six more, is that right? I think I'll have nine squares total. And I'll make this the back panel and then it can be reversible if I want. And then I can have this for a bit more intrigue and design and this for just a bit more simple pattern. I'll do this top stitching on this one as well.
done the back panel. I just have to iron it. Not the best. Some lines aren't adding up, but that's okay. It can always just be the back. <laughs> Just finished sewing the liner in this bag so it's all turned inside out if you haven't done a liner for a bag before this might look a little wonky but basically you sew all the way around and you leave a little opening here if I can get it and then you flip it right side out so I thought we could do that together I do have straps in here so that kind of makes it easy I can pull them out I'm hoping this bag isn't too tiny just because, you know, with the seam allowance and all that, you do lose some height, height and width. So I'm hoping it's still an usable size, <laughs> but I think it's going to be pretty cute. It does. I definitely could have left a bigger opening, I think. <laughs> But we're getting there. I find this part extremely satisfying <laughs> when you finally get to pull it through and see it all come together. It really makes it kind of seem like more of a professional piece. I'm just gonna go in here before I put the lining inside the bag. I'm just gonna push out those corners so they're not so rounded. And also make sure that all of my sides are seamed together and there's no holes because if there are, now would be the time to fix it before I sew up this hole in here. Push out this other end. I guess I could grab like a knitting needle or something for this, but I think my 
fingers are doing just fine. So here it is. Back side, or it's reversible, not reversible, but you can use the back or front. Here's the plain grid and then this crossed X ones here. I've got the rest of the bag before I close it in. I'll push out the corners on the liner. This is usually the liner that I use for any little bag that I make. And then I'm just going to fold in the raw edges and then just do a little stitch from each finger. And then I'll be able to put the lining in. it up and let's put it in I've got quite a bit of thread to snip off here Okay, it's starting to look like a bag now. <laughs> Here we go. So here's the lining. And here's the bag. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with it, I think. I think I'll get some wear out of it. I did want I didn't have enough of the pink dyed strap so I did have to use some of the undyed and I just seam them together and then reinforce them with these zigzag stitches here back and forth and hopefully that's okay they feel really sturdy and strong I don't carry a whole lot in my bag anyway it's my wallet and my phone usually so I'm happy with it maybe we should do a little try on bag. I think it turned out pretty well. The lining looks good. No pocket. I just got too tired of this project. <laughs> but looking good. Only one problem. I twisted the strap. So I'm just going to have to undo that and then reattach the correct way, but no big deal. I really like it. I think it sits at a nice spot on the body. I love the color. I think I've got myself a new summer bag. <laughs> oh yeah, this is something that I sewed a couple months ago, maybe a month or two ago. And this is just a cute little like notions bag, I think. So this is with some naturally dyed fabric that I uh, dyed with tea, I think here. And then I hammered on some flowers I've shown you different versions of this bag before, if you've seen any of my past videos. I just had some extra fabric, so I made up another one, and I have this really cute dusty blue zipper in it that I just love. I think it looks really cool with this fabric. I'm not the best with zippers yet. There's this situation going on, which I'm not happy about. I need to get better. I think I just sew way too close to the edge of the zipper. So I need a bit more practice on that and so for that reason I'm keeping this one for myself otherwise I would love to try and sell these once I get better because <laughs> I think they're really unique and beautiful perfect little notion notions pouch. I also have it lined with some I think this was a tablecloth an old tablecloth so yeah I love these little pouches and I just really love this zipper. I got this zipper at Rick Rack Textiles also. So I was at the salvage center the other day and they 
always have a lot of fabric there so every time I'm there I go down that aisle and see what they have I picked up all of this fabric for five bucks so I got two of these they might just be like tea towels I'm not really sure but I love the color and I love the texture and the little ruffles on this are uh, the not really ruffles but the frayed pieces there so I'm not entirely sure what to do with this like I said I have two of these squares I do have a pattern for a like sun, a bucket hat <clears throat> and it has options for like a longer brim so it's more of a <clears throat> Sorry, it's more of a sun hat. And this is some drapey material, but I could put interfacing in the brim so it's, it stiffens up a bit. I thought that would be really cute. I like that idea for a hat, but not entirely sold on that. Maybe there is like a zero waste pattern I could do from my zero waste pattern book from Brigitta Helmerson. If there's enough fabric, I might look into that. <clears throat> I also have, I think I got about one and a half meters or one meter of this. And ideally, I picture this in this tie top here. So I think that tie top would look really cute in this. More of a winter version just because of the darker colors. I think I would still wear it in the summertime because it's nice and light, but just this color is really fall and wintry to me. Lastly, I got two meters of this fabric here. And I'm not sure what to do with this one either. I also just picture this in the tie top, this one down here from the Lily Pilly dress slash top. So yeah, I, I know I love it, but I just don't have it. Like nothing is really speaking to me a hundred percent yet when it comes to the pattern for this fabric. I think it's really cute though. So I felt really lucky stumbling upon those pieces of fabric at the salvage center. They also had, I almost grabbed it. It was this huge, like almost bolt of this upholstery fabric that I could have used for a jacket I think but then you know it wasn't a hundred percent me and I decided to put it away because I thought I don't need to get this just because it's a good price I don't need more stuff in my sewing room craft room only trying to pick up pieces that I'm really in love with just because yeah there's no there's no more space or no room for that so I also Got to go into my Nana's fabric closet. I got this really beautiful basket. It's full of fabric and full of, I believe it's called monk's cloth for like punch needle and cross stitch. So I've got a ton of this because I do have a punch needle set and I would love to do more of it. So I got a lot of that and I also got, oh, I forgot about this. I also got this. I think it's a 100% cotton. And it's just a stripe. It's looking like it's... Well, let's see. Oh, no, it's a gingham. It was inside out. Oh, my God. Wow, that's surprising. I had no idea. <laughs> I thought it was striped. That's really cool. Okay, so I, I got this light blue gingham. What should I make with it? <laughs> Maybe I could do... Oh boy, what should I make? Maybe I can do one of the dresses from this. Like the tie dress. The wrap dress would be cute too. It's almost exactly like that when it's the other way out. But obviously I would do the gingham. <laughs> the right side out. Oh, that's such a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I love the stripe, but I just, gingham is even better. So yeah, I got a lot of this gingham. I could probably get a few projects out of this. It's really summery too. Hmm. 
Hmm. What else would look good with this? Maybe I've got the, um, there's the zero waste gather dress from Brigitte Helmerson. Maybe I could do something like that. It's just with her patterns, the zero waste, I always find they always end up massive on me. <laughs> so I do have to do calculations beforehand to kind of fit closer to my body. I do like oversized, but sometimes the the smallest measurement she gives is just too big. It just doesn't look great on my body. I also picked up, I just have tiny bits of cotton from this. I thought this could be cute for something, possibly like a quilt type thing in the future with other fabrics. And this one as well, just a more neutral beigey color. And I picked up some denim also. So I'm not, like I don't have patterns. The patterns I have here aren't suitable for denim, but how cute is this? I think like maybe some high-waisted wide leg pants that go to like your mid calf would be so cute in this or maybe I could get a denim skirt or a denim jacket I don't know how much I have I'd have to kind of measure it up but this is really fun and something I do not have anything like and then more denim, just a navy and white stripe. Shorts would be cute, maybe. There's not a whole lot of this one. And then the final thing I'll show you, oh no, two more. I also picked up this for my Nana stash because I had a dress made in this when I was little. And I remember just feeling so beautiful in this dress when I was little. I don't know, she may have made it for me or she purchased a dress that had very similar fabric to this, like almost identical. So I saw this and thought, of course I have to take it. And maybe I can save it for like a kid's sewing thing. A sewing, I don't know what a sewing, a blanket or something. <laughs> I also picked up just two scraps of this suede because I love the color and I thought it could work as a really beautiful like bottom for a bag. Ooh. What if, mm, I don't know. I do like the colors together, but I was thinking maybe I could add that in somehow. Yeah, I just thought kind of, you know when some bags have the bottom piece is a different fabric and it's just about this big and then the rest is about, I don't know, say that tall and in a different fabric. I kind of pictured the suede being on the bottom. Okay, I think I think that's it. That's all for the sewing that I've been up to and planning. I've just been really enjoying it lately. I sometimes like sometimes I hate sewing. I've mentioned it before on here that sometimes I just like it seems like so much work for me, and it is a lot of work. Um, but sometimes I just cannot get into it. I want to have the finished pieces and I want to sew too, but just getting myself to do it seems like a lot of work and effort and requires a lot of motivation. But lately I've just been really in the mood for it. So I'm leaning into it and just trying to go with it and only work on things when I feel the inspiration and feel that motivation there because otherwise that's when I screw up projects and it just doesn't go well if I have to force any of it. But so far my items have been going well so I think that's also why I've been in the sewing mood because you know when you have a project and then it doesn't go well and it kind of puts you off of that craft for a little bit. At least that happens with me particularly with sewing. Knitting not so much. Knitting if I screw up it doesn't really put me off. I can jump back into it, but sewing for some reason is just one of those things that I procrastinate on if I <laughs> screw something up. But it's been really enjoyable and fun and 
I'm glad because there are a lot of things missing from my wardrobe and I'm really excited to build it up and the other day I wore like from head to toe a fully me made outfit which is the first time I've been able to do that other than like when I wear dresses if I've made a dress because it's one piece but I had you know bottoms tops socks all of that handmade and it felt so good and I just felt so proud of myself so I'm excited because I want to just build up my wardrobe with these patterns, especially because there's so many modifications and variations to these patterns. So especially if I do different variations and modifications to them and use a lot of neutrals, I'll be able to wear those pieces with so many different items in my wardrobe. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm looking to minimize my wardrobe. I guess a capsule wardrobe is kind of what I'm aiming for, but maybe not so extreme. And I'm just, yeah, looking to cut down a lot of pieces and donate a lot more items in my wardrobe after I get some staple pieces in there. So anyways, <laughs> that's where I'm at with sewing. I hope you all enjoy this and I would love to know if you are currently sewing on anything at the moment or have plans for any sewing patterns in the future. I always love to look at different patterns online and maybe save them for myself later on. So thanks again and I hope you all are doing well. Bye!